Morgan, I, I, I would love to hear your uh, Raziel message if you wanted to share that. Sure, yeah. So this was just today, actually. Because so the way that I'm, I've been working now, um, I want to be in alignment with all of the, um, the, the zodiac signs and the deacons. So I'm doing some ritual work to really enter into these portals at the correct times to get the messages from uh, for specific things associated with the constellations. Uh, so now it's Gemini season and it's the second deacon. Um, so that is where my focus was on today. And so I did a um, channeling earlier that I could basically uh, like just, I could read it for you. Um, so this was earlier on. So this is the second decan of Gemini. So it's really, so Gemini especially is like focus is mental matter itself and the mental plane. Um, so, and so the ruling angel is Shahadani, uh, the angel that is active at this particular time is Hariel. You can see this. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is the, the book that, that you gave me, Robert. So, oh. so Hariel is an angel that uh, the power to bring peace to your home, the power to improve magical power, the power to discover, discover a peaceful pathway. And this is the angel that is active at this particular time in this particular decan, uh, especially. And this angel is a part of um, a group of angels that is under Archangel Raziel. So he has a lot of power at this particular time too, and a lot of power over Gemini. And he is um, the, um, the angel that presides over the secrets of God. He's associated with the sphere of Chokmah, which is the sphere of wisdom, the second highest of the 10 spheres of the Sephiroth, the tree of life. So he's um, very intense, very intelligent um, archangel. So he's the one that came through today. Um, so I, I gave like a little bit of a background here on this um, gate. And then a lot of it was basically him coming through me and like he wanted me to actually like do what it kind of automatic writing in this case it was automatic typing where I just like grabbed my computer and just typed as fast as I could and then try to make sense of it later but so let me start reading this so this is all from today the keys to understanding the concept of the heavenly twins of Gemini are found in the stargate of the greater dog or the wolf constellation of the Persians the first twin is the firstborn that which emerged from the initial union of polarities in Keter or divine light. Light is consciousness. They are one and the same. Light is formed from the union of the first dragons interacting sexually through the desire to know themselves as separated polarities. This is the yin and the yang of the Taoist, the Shakti and the Shiva, Isis and Osiris, the first mother and the first father of creation, providers of the golden egg bursting forth in its immaculate light. Light is consciousness and situates in the sphere of wisdom as all else on the tree of life proceeds from light. Light is therefore the prime mover of all that is ensouled. Yet light must create something from within itself, something that is ordered. Light simply is. So how does it create something more complex and multiform than it is? We define all in existence based on its relation to light speed. Light is the standard by which all else can be, we can define energetically is compared. So what is light's younger twin? It's ordered dyad, which emerges from its heel and surpasses its creative power as Jacob surpassed Esau. It is not energy for energy is just above the physical matter and therefore under the, domain, the domain of vital existence from the etheric bodies. The twin of light consciousness or chokmah consciousness is essence. Essence is above energy as noted since energy is definable within physical bounds. Essence is patterned and ordered, but yet shapeless. When you give your essence, you give a part of yourself and yet you lose nothing of yourself. For your essence gives as the rays of the sun freely delivers quanta of energy to living beings on the earth. The essence of a man is the source of the energy emitted from it. 
It is the foundation of the soul's power, the soul being born from the light of the father. The father's light gives way, it yields to the congealing essence, the light of the dog. Essence is the mathematically ordered expression signature of the soul that congeals into energy bodies, first being the pure mental matter that is perceptible through the activities of the third eye. In creation, the celestials form all from this mental material, including the fashioning of bodies from themselves. As pure intelligences of the highest emanation of source, the gods descend no lower than this upper realm of pure mind. Further energy is qualified through directed will to serve as the prototype for astral, etheric, and physical matter. Essence gets empowered through the constructs that proceed from it, concretizing finally in the physical form. Again, light purposefully, purposefully yields so that the creations of that essence can exist. The dog follows the bringer of creative light and generates through it. Pollux follows Castor, Sirius follows Orion. You will find this theme recapitulated in the stories of the ancients who knew the secrets of the star portals and knew their own place in the cosmic scheme of light. Much of the knowledge has been lost, much has been perverted. The great God of earth has been demonized for following the light with high fidelity, as was divinely ordained. The dog is now the mainly mutt, the goat is now the symbol of the devil. Oh, how crass the mysteries have become in this age. Only a true exploration of the twins of Gemini revealed the secrets of mental matter and its true role in creation. Humans have the tendency of shaping their own myths. True as they may be in their original form handed down from the gods, according to their own insecurities and prejudices. What is great has been made small. Sirius, the great shining light and beacon of summer, is feared as a companion of the devil's set. The mighty king reduced to a fragment of a thought form by those who would do harm to themselves and others if they knew this vast majesty and power. The great dog is a herald of the revelations to come. He directs with his will, that portion of light which, with which the fruits of essence are capable of receiving unto themselves yet no more. This is the real reason why the light diminishes. It is a necessary part of the development in a plane denser than its predecessor. Growing separation may feel like a curse from within its mental confines, but assuredly that separation will dissipate as the gap closes and all the more glorious the celebration of unity upon return to the great throne of the king will be. This truth I speak to you, lest hope is diminished in a world of decadence. The banquet feast is prepared for those willing to embrace the riches of heaven, for I am the keeper of the secrets of God, Archangel Raziel. May my light shine forth. And that, with that, it closed. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. I resonate well, with that so much, the difference between the material matter realms and the uh, astral, and then the difference between those realms, which um, for me, they've always been called the realms of infinity. But yeah. then you get That's beyond that, you get into the ethereal, which is the eternal, which is the essence. That's so mm -hmm. right on to me, so spot on.